Okay, driver. So the code I found on this was P0303 was plug three, and I'm gonna change that one. Okay, so what I did, I removed the negative side of the battery, and I re replaced back the connection on the battery, and I diagnostic again with the scanner tool, and it said P0303. So that was plug three. So. Basically, plug three show me that it's good, but it's but it seems like it does a malfunction plug. It's going bad, so I'm just gonna change all plugs. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna remove this to make sure I get enough space. So as you can see, as I said, I have one plug that go bad. So I'm just gonna change all plugs instead of change only one. I mean ignition coil, not plug. So all these, here's ignition coil, I'm just gonna change it. One of them is bad, so instead of a change one, I just change all because next thing, three, four months from now, maybe one gonna go bad again. So I usually just change it. So basically just tune, tune up the hinge in and get it over with. What I usually do, I usually remove the connection first. Just take it, take it and pull it back. What I usually do is these screws for the ignition coil, I usually put it back. They don't want to lose these. Let's put it back for now. So now I'm going to remove the plugs. So for the plug, you need a 14, 14 millimeter socket for the plug and, a long, and an extension socket. Just move all, I just loosen all of them so I just learn one by one. I'm not gonna change everything. You want to use a special, like a whole time wire just to remove the spark plug. It's more easier when this is more easier for me to use one of these.
these plugs are still good but I rather just replace new ones because I'm gonna replace new ignition coil you know what I mean you don't make no sense I place new ignition coil and I don't replace new plugs because again down the line three four months maybe one or two of these could go bad and then throw off the engine light again or sometimes cause engine to run lean you know okay so these are the new plugs and if you have the same problem with this kind of vehicle what I would do I usually just order my parts on Amazon you know just want to make sure you get the, the right ones though so if, if any if you guys are interested I'm gonna put the link in the description okay as an Amazon affiliate so what I usually do you know I drop it down 40 millimeter take time In the hand first okay what you don't want to do is very important you don't want to over tighten the spark plug so what I will do I'll take my time first make sure it's it right you want to continue to do it until you get it tight so as soon as you get it you feel if you feel like it's get tight you want to just get a, a little like a, a tour and then stop you, you don't want to over tight and then you know mess up the you don't want to mess up the tread that's it do the next one the same way You get everything tight if you want what i usually do you just want to make sure just go over it back one more time oh, it's still just in case just be safe tighten it a little bit so now we're going to put all four ignition coil in right now So basically, I just put back all of the ignition coil. Then we screw it up. Okay, so we put back all ignition coil. Now we're just going to connect the plugs. So with these plugs, usually get to press it and, pu and, and, and push. And usually same thing when you take it off. So you usually got to press. Push. 
So just remember you got to put back this probably the, you're not get, the vehicle not going to start if you don't put back the air intake hose on, I mean the connection and the air intake hose So we're going to put back this Remember you got a hose in the back, you want to make sure it's tight. Another, you have another screw on the side here, We're going straight to the intake. Usually what you could do to reset the engine light, you could take off the negative side of the battery and put it on back, then turn on the vehicle. Or you usually can drive 10 miles and then the engine light should come off. But right now I'm going to just turn it on and see what's going on. The, uh, the, the, the good thing is the engine light is off so that means uh, everything is good. So hopefully this helps and you know, just share the video if, you, if it helps you and press likes okay thank you have a good day